look at the uh, Optiflex 780s that we have. It's a mini size uh, tower or desktop. Um, open it up. There's a slider here. Push that back and that pops out the side. So lay it down, lift the cover off. <clears throat> and inside, looking from here, um, power supply is always at the back where the power connector is. Um, so here's the CPU, surrounded by this big shroud for air cooling with the gigantic heat sink on it. Um, <clears throat> we've got, uh, it's pretty small in this computer. Um, it's kind of hard to see. The RAM is here. See the RAM slots. Um, it's got four dims in there right now. Um, <clears throat> the the uh, DVD drive is covering over top of the hard drive, so you have to lift this up and slide it back. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Yeah, you gotta lift that up and push it back at the same time. There we go. So I got it. You lift the uh, DVD out of the way, and there's the uh, hard drive. So that's secondary storage, secondary storage as well, where the RAM here is primary storage. Um, <clears throat> And uh, goes back in. Find the slots that it goes into. And if you do it properly, you can push it forward to lock it in place. And uh, other than that, there's a this cable here takes the uh, signals to the front panel, the audio and USB. We'll have a look at the uh, back panel. <clears throat> So in the back panel here, we've got VGAs plugged in there. It's analog video, VGA, 15 pin, three rows of pins. Um, we've got the old style parallel port and the serial COM port, RS-232. We're going to be doing a lab on that this, uh, in a couple of weeks. Actually, this one's an external SATA connector for an external SATA hard drive. Um, and this looks like, uh, gee, it looks like HDMI. I have to check what it is. I'm not sure. Um, that's going to be part of your first lab, actually, is identifying what they are. So these are the USB connectors. And then our audio, the green is uh, audio out to speakers or uh, headphones. And the audio in, the input, is either uh, pink is uh, for a PC microphone that requires uh, 5 volt power. Or you can go with blue, that's a line in, which gives you stereo input from a, you know, from an MP3 player, a phone, or some device that you want to record from. Um, and that's about it.